So the average job seeker actually goes on about 10 to 20 interviews before they get a job. Like, that is not a good look. I mean, I'm going to show you how you can get every single job that you go out on an interview for. Making money online is easy. Whether it is a face-to-face -face interview or online interview, I'm going to show you how you can nail every single interview. Most times right now, I am seeing that you have to go on about two to three different interviews for a company to join their company before you can actually get the job. And it's really stressing. It can be really stressing. I mean, normally it would be one or two, now it's three. You have to meet your immediate manager. That, that's normally the first interview. Then you have to normally meet their manager. And then from there, the final interview is with the CEO. It is really, really stiff out here, but I'm gonna show you how I cracked it. I am known in my surrounding as someone that gets every single job that I get an interview for, okay? And I'm gonna show you how. I hear someone asking, what is the secret to nailing every interview? Like, what is the one mistake that you're making right now while you're not getting the job and you have to be going on 10 to 20 different interviews and being a part of the statistic that I mentioned in the beginning of this video? What is the secret? The secret is your confidence. The secret is actually knowing that they need you just as much or even more than how you need them. The secret is knowing that you're going to give them a return on their investment and to be absolutely confident with it. The secret, it's not feeling like, oh, I need to put all of this on my resume. I need to tell them that I've done this. I need to tell them that I have this experience. No, that's not the secret. That is playing the game. You're not going to play the game. You're going to be a master at the game. You're going to play chess. You're going to get in the psychology of why they want to hire you. They want to hire you because they want to pay you X amount here. And they also want you to give them a return on their investment in this lump sum. Okay. So that is the secret. The secret is knowing that you are going to give them a return on their investment. The secret is being confident in yourself that you are worthy of this job. All right. So the very first thing that you need to do when you are applying for a job is to come in in the interview fully confident. I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm just talking about getting rid of the nerves. Getting rid of the nerves, right? Getting rid of the, oh my God, what if I messed up? Like, for me personally, I see the interviewer as someone, here's a little trick. All right. I see the interviewer as someone that is less than myself. Yeah, I do. That is what I do psychologically to ace all my interviews. But you still need to have everything that you need to have. Like you still need to have your requirements. If you are on camera, you still need to dress appropriately and professionally. And if you're going face to face, uh, on site, you still need to dress appropriately. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. You should know that. I'm talking about what you do not know. And what you do not know is this psychological trick, okay? When you see that interviewer, when you're in the room with two or three of them, look at them like they are below you. If you're going to look at them that they are above you, you're going to feel like a child. You're going to feel small. You're not going to feel like you can measure up if you feel like they are above you and you want something from them and they have you in their hand to give it to you or not. You're going to flip that switch. You're actually going to say they are below you and you are bringing to them a return on their investment. Okay. And that confidence is going to come out that confidence is going to come out. All right. 
Um, another way that you can make sure that you get a call back to get the job after you've gotten the interview is to make sure that you do your research on the persons that are going to interview. But normally when they're sending you the invite to be interviewed, they will tell you the person that you will be speaking to that will be interviewing you. So you do a little research. You go on Google, better yet, go on LinkedIn. Do some research, like really do some research and don't just do research into their professional life. Like if you can find anything about their hobbies, if you can find anything. So it's not like just being stiff, right? It's being flexible, it's showing your personality and it's being confident. The very first thing that happened was that they put out a job description. They put out an ad that persons can come now and apply. They did that first, all right? In most cases, the company is the one that put out a notice or vacancy that they need someone to fill this position. Now, I am just responding. So you need me. Yeah, and I need you. I need to make some money and you need to make even more money, all right? So never, ever, 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 ever feel like they have any upper ad. So the next tip that I want to give you on how you can pass every single one of your interview guys is to take YouTube by storm. Take YouTube by storm. If you have an interview coming up, say for example, you're in finance and you have an interview coming up, come on here, come on YouTube. It's called YouTube Versity. It's like a university. YouTube, like Google, has almost every single thing. If they don't have it, most likely it doesn't <laughs> exist. So if you're going on an interview and don't sit at home and thinking that you know all the questions that they're going to ask you, especially if you're new to an industry, if you have changed your job or whatever, come on YouTube. Type in interview question and answer for this particular industry. And I want you to watch about five different interviews on the particular industry that you all right so i just hope that this video it's really quick a simple video to show someone out there that you know how they can get closer to passing their interview and not have to be going on 10 20 different interviews to get a job all right how you can actually stand out Another quick tip is to really have some personality. I know I said this before, but like have some quotes that you could put in. I remember this one time I was being interviewed and I remember this one time I was being interviewed and I said, I absolutely, you know, there was, they were asking me what are, like, what do I like to do? Something like that. I don't remember now. But I said that I like to learn, all right? I like to do my own self-development because I know that whatever doesn't grow spoil. All right, so I like to do, I like to keep my own self-development going. I am not in school anymore, I'm not in college anymore, but I have to keep on top of what is going on right now in the world. I have to keep developing myself. Another thing I want to tell you, after the interview, guys, please send a thank you um, email to the person that interviewed you. Like every single time, send a thank you email. It could be something short and spicy like, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to interview me today. I, I hope I was selected as the candidate that you're looking for regardless i really do appreciate that you took the time to interview me today have a wonderful day a thank you note is good and this is something that not everyone is practicing no one told me this the interview is not going to tell you oh send me a thank you note send me a thank you note okay they're not going to tell you that send them a thank you note stand out all right and if you found this video helpful in any way, please like, share, comment down below so that more persons can see this video and can, you know, do better in their interview. Thank you. 
And thank you for tuning in to Make That Money.